Welcome to the Maximum and Minimum Values for Two Variable Functions video tutorial. Example 1. Find all maximums and minimums of f of x comma y equals sine of x times cos of y on the domain where x ranges from negative 3 to positive 3 and y ranges from negative 1.5 to positive 1.5. Start off by writing the equation in math mode. You can tell if you're in math mode by clicking on this icon over here and continue writing the function. f of x comma y equals sine of x times cos of y. Step 1. Apply the context menu and select right hand side. Step 2. Apply the context menu again and go to optimization and optimization assistant. Let's drag the optimization assistant to the side over here so we can view the steps. Step 3, go to edit constraints and bounds. And we know that x ranges from negative 3 to positive 3. Add. We know that y ranges from negative 1.5 to positive 1.5, add, and click done. Step 5, select minimize and click solve. In the options menu, we see that minimize is already checked. Let's click on solve, and we can see that the objective value of the function is negative 1 at x equals approximately negative 1.57 and y equals 0. We can click on maximize and click on solve. It will output the maximum objective value of the function which is positive 1 at x equals approximately 1.57 and y equals 0. Step 6. Let's plot the function and click on plot and Maple produces a very elegant graph of the function in which you can verify that the maximums and minimums that it calculated for us are indeed true. Example 2. Find all maximums and minimums of f of x comma y equals x times y times sine x times cos y on the domain where x ranges from 2 to 13 and y ranges from negative 2 to 5. Make sure you're in math mode by clicking on this math icon up here and continue writing the function f of x comma y equals x times y times sine x times cos y. Step 1. Apply the context menu and select right hand side. Step 2. Apply the context menu again and go to optimization and optimization assistant. Let's drag the window down here so we can see the instructions. Step 3, edit constraints and bounds. We know that x ranges from 2 to 13 and y ranges from negative 2 to positive 5. Let's add these two bounds and click done. Step five, solve and plot. Once we have a calculation that has been done, we are then able to plot the function. Let's drag this to the side as well. We can see from this plot that there are several, several maximums and minimums. There seems to be an absolute maximum at x equals 11 and y equals 3.5. Keep those two coordinates in mind. Click on Done. Go to Initial Values and click on Edit. Type in x equals 11 and y equals 3.5. Maple will use these values to approximate the maximum and will give us a much more accurate number. Click on Done. 
maximize because it appeared to be a maximum and click solve. The objective value is about 36.3. The exact coordinates of that maximum are at approximately x equals 11.1 and y equals 3.43. By looking at the plot and estimating the location of the minimum or the maximum, you can use the initial values option and obtain a much more accurate approximation of where the minimum or maximum is and its objective value. Thank you for viewing the maximums and minimums of two variable functions video tutorial.